guest co-host back at the girl chat table. You love her from Love and Hip Hop Miami. Everybody give it up for Amara La Negra. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Amara. Hi. Yes. Yes. Are yes. you ready to keep it real with girl chat today? I am ready. I am ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. First up. A recent video reposted okay. on the Instagram site Hollywood Unlocked caused its followers to go to war in the comments. The video involved a mother letting her young daughter hear on speakerphone that her father did not want to see her. Oh, if you didn't see geez. it, take a look. But I did call him, right? You heard him talking to me? And I told him to come get you and he said no, right? Now you see why mommy don't want to call him? Oh my God, my heart crushes when what I do see you her say? face. While many sympathized with the mother's struggle, others felt like this was too adult of a conversation for a young child to have to take on. Ladies, what do you think? Well, first of all, we want to state that there's something going on and there's been some back and forth. There's been a Facebook page which reveals the father. So we don't want to talk about yeah. that. We're not talking about them. We're talking about the purpose of, you know, putting a child on social media um, and talking about the parent. So we're just using this as a jump off. I want to make that absolutely clear. That we're okay? not paying ourselves you. in yes. the parent exactly. situation. We don't know the full story. Exactly. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. about what's exactly. Going on. But as a parent, I'm curious, Tam, what Ugh. you think about, is this too young of an age to have this conversation with that little, with the baby? I don't Not that baby, see, with a yeah, baby. I, uh, mm. <sighs> For me, I would make sure that my child is old enough to understand the caliber of exactly what I'm talking about. Right. Do you know what I mean? I would make sure that they would understand that reasoning. I mean, to answer your question, I'm not in that situation, right. you know, fully. I hope I never, you know, am. Obviously, I'm married, I have two kids. Right. Um, but in, I studied psych. You know, my, my degree in college was childhood development. And what we learned, I can only speak on the stuff that I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what I learned is that children really don't understand abstract reasoning until they're like 10. I don't so, even know what abstract reasoning is. <laughs> <laughs> and I do not know what you know, you're you, saying. Yes, it's like uh, problem solving. Yes. Like once this child hears this, yeah. then they can kind of understand, okay, my mom, you know, uh, got pregnant with a guy who didn't, when you're two, you don't you don't understand right. the backstory of that. Basically, All you know is is daddy doesn't love me, and yeah. I wouldn't want my child growing up having that complex. Right, yeah. it's just so sad. Come on. Yeah. Well, to be honest, okay, I I come from a single you know a parent as well, so yeah. I understand um, the struggles and and then it's so easy for us to just sit here yeah. and judge her. We don't know exactly what she was going through at the moment. You know what she you know how she was at the moment. At the same time, um, I also feel that. She, we don't really know, like, she didn't give the father the benefit of the doubt of telling him, okay, well, I'm gonna put you on speaker so that she mm -hmm. can hear. In a way or another, mm -hmm. it was a little sneaky because he didn't know that he was being put on, sneak on speaker and the baby was listening. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he would have said it differently. You know, even though that my mom raised me with the truth from day one. Your father is like this, he's like this, he's like this. Talk to him if you want to. This is what it is from day one because it's a hard world and that's just the way that it is. Yeah. So I, I'm glad that my mom didn't raise me with lies, but at the same time, I do understand that she's too young to understand. Yes. Was your father in your life? He surely wasn't. He was not. No. And I mean, he wants to be in it now, right? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. He, oh, they that's my daughter. Like, yes. That's my blood, I'm sure. Well, but, did, but did your mother ever, because I grew up as a, with a single mother. Right. So my question is, did, did you ever, or do you ever remember your mother saying something negative about your father? Yes, I do remember my mom speaking negatively of him, but it wasn't, I didn't think about it that way because she said it, it's because I saw it and I heard uh, it. I, yep. It was the same situation. My mom would call my father, put him on speaker, or he would say, I'm gonna send you some money, and three months later, I still don't have nothing. So, she let me see with my eyes the truth of the situation. So it right. wasn't just that your mom's talking negative. Yeah, I grew up in the projects in the 80s during the crack era. I can tell you this, I never heard my mother say one bad thing about my dad. And I'm gonna tell you how that helped me. Because of that, 
I think my mom surrounded me about, around pe with people who wanted to be with me, mm -hmm. who loved me. Mm -hmm. So that's all I remember growing up. As a matter of fact, I didn't really know we was poor until I really looked at television. And I'm like, yeah. people live differently than <laughs> yeah. we do. You know what I'm saying? It's so true. Yeah. It was like, because it wasn't a Ignorance big deal. Is bliss. Exactly. Yeah. And that's, so I have to commend my mother for that because she never said anything bad. Even though there were some times we weren't eating. But mm -hmm. it, it's okay, Laura. Right. It's okay. <laughs> I feel for this single mother. Yeah. Because as a single mom, sometimes you're lonely. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you want to use your child. Um, and you shouldn't use your child. Mm -mm. Even if you're lonely, even if he may be going through something and he may have found somebody else, don't put your child in it. Concentrate and focus on your child. And when you need a break, you know, try to get a babysitter and go out and live your life because yeah. that will help you and the child. It's really hard yeah. for single mothers. It's yeah. hard. But I, it's hard I have to with give two. it to my mom. Exactly. It's hard with two, with a mom yeah. and can dad. You so because can... I'm pretty sure, you know, that there's something going on between right. her and him. Yes. And co-parenting is very, very hard. Yes. But as when you're a single mother, you have to take time out for yourself, but you also have to focus on your kids, but you can't use that child. And I'm not saying it in this case, yes. but I'm saying in a lot of cases, you can't use the child to try to get yes. to the guy. Absolutely. I, and I, I, oh, sorry, go no, ahead, no. Jeannie. I would want to make sure that this child has a positive male role model in their yes. lives as well because you don't want that child to grow up feeling insecure about mm -hmm. themselves but not only that having a negative stereotype about males in exactly. general. Yeah. So exactly. So I applaud your mom for doing that and you turned out to be an amazing you amazing. Yes, yes. Yes. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. We love mother love. But also I think the second issue is putting it on social media. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I would support there's the whole there world. The because terrible. there's spite involved in there. Yeah. there. There's an ugly, there's a there's a trait that comes off when you post and let everybody know your business, which is spiteful. And that's not a good example for the daughter, nor is it healthy for the mom to process that way. For me, when I see that little girl's face, when I see her, feel, her yeah. face look so crushed, I remember those times when I was young and when I was exposed to things that were either violent within my family, my household, or money problems, things where the gravity of understanding it was far beyond what I could register, what I could understand. And when a little girl goes to bed at night and when the lights are off and you're left with your thoughts, it can become very scary yep. if you don't know how to process it. So I think for a mom and for a child, there's only three things that that child really needs at the end of the day. It is to feel happy, safe, and loved. So everything you do that doesn't fit that shouldn't be evolving. And crazy. you know what? This is why it's very... I always tell this to young ladies. Be careful who you have babies with. Yes. There's a little Preach. pill that you could take. Breach, breach, mama. I mean, Go ahead. no, some, you know, I mean, and I'm not pushing that. I'm just saying be careful. Yeah, be responsible. Be responsible because in the long run, you know, once you have a baby with somebody, that's 18 years a life. you stuck with that For other life. person. For life. Right. And she didn't ask to be in that situation, yeah. no. you know, little girl. Yeah. And I meant a birth control pill, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm birth control. When yeah, I say yes. a little pill, it's a birth control pill that helps you. If you're that type of person, you know, it can help you regulate yourself until you figure out what you want to do because it's real easy to say, I want to have a baby with yeah. this person. But, you know, sometimes you need to think yourself through. So yes. just don't be going out with everybody. Right. You know, yes. take care of yourselves. Yeah. That's why this stuff is out there because mm -hmm. I am for women. I am for women first. Yeah. yeah, but you know what? Sometimes, too, sometimes you may think that this is a perfect man, and once that baby is there, they can completely change on you real quick. Oh, okay. yeah. You never really know who's the right person. Yeah. You may have an idea, but you never really know. At the end of the day, the baby was too young for this type of conversation. Like I said, it's so easy for us somewhat to sit here yeah. and judge her. Yeah. We don't really know what she's been through, what she's going through. Well, we're not through. judging her. We're talking about the situation. Sometimes people yeah. make right. emotional decisions. Yeah, she did an emotional right. situation by posting it and having the yeah. baby listen to the conversation. Yeah. So. Right. Yeah. I think years later, when she looks back, obviously that may have been an emotional moment where right. you make irrational decisions, decisions just off of how you felt. Mm -hmm. And I think years later, like when this child goes to junior high school and that video is still there, your daddy didn't love you, your daddy didn't mm -hmm. want to see you. Is that worth it? Mm -hmm. Was that worth whatever you were feeling? Right? Think about that in the moment and when you make decisions, hold off for a second and think about how this is going to affect the child. It's not about you anymore. And sometimes it's about the baby. I hate to sound old fashioned, 
But that's why there are processes in a relationship. Mm -hmm. There's courtship, there's yep. dating, there's, there's engagement, marriage. there's marriage. Yep. There's ba and sometimes, yes. and I'm just, I'm just saying, if, if that's, there, there are processes and there are reasons why there are processes so that you can figure out if this is the right person for you or if this is what you want to do with your life. So it may sound old fashioned, but there's a reason why there's, you know, some people say, before you have a baby, get married. Or that you know, there's or, planning. Exactly. Like I think sometimes if a Parents are sometimes yeah. most invested when they were a part of the planning process. When a father mm -hmm. says, I'm excited, this is exactly. the woman I chose and I want to have a baby yeah. with her. We're planning this. This is something we decided to do. We chose this. Right. Versus sometimes they feel stuck. Sometimes this wasn't something they wanted. And I think sometimes that, that affects the outcome. That's the Does reality Does that make of sense? It. That's yeah. the yeah. reality We're going to keep it. talking about it's this. Not right, we'll, but we'll, it's... It'll, it'll come back up. But we yeah. just wanted to give a little taste of it. But we're going to change. We're going to speak about holding the men accountable. There's a new European dating app called Once. It's making headlines for letting women rate and review their date like they would a restaurant what? on Yelp. What? <laughs> yeah, the goal Wait, of what? the app is to ensure <laughs> Men behave like gentlemen on dates, mm. especially in the wake of the Me Too movement. The Ugh. app encourages women to leave constructive criticism Shout about their date, like if he looked like his picture and if he made good conversation. <laughs> so, Amara, uh, how would you rate your last date? Uh -uh. Uh, I don't remember the last time I had a date like that, but I do remember this awful date, and I've spoken about it in the past, you know, he made me. He made me pay for dinner, and then he asked me for gas money. But then I what? was like, but I was like, I was like in high school. That was one of those oh. awful, okay. awful days. Okay. bad, but she. I know, I know, but that I, I was traumatized after that. <laughs> um, but to be honest, I'm not too fond of this app. You know what? Why? I feel that I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair. Just just because you may have not had a good experience with this one person, or you may not have had a good chemistry, doesn't mean that you should put you should put your opinions or criticize constructive criticisms. Yeah, right. They're gonna go over <laughs> there. They're gonna destroy this man, and then I'm gonna go there and read it, and that might kill my chances with this person because yeah. based off your opinion. Yeah. So I don't agree. Yes, I've met people before that I've said even for friends, oh she's whack, she's rude. And then you meet the person and you're like, that was the nicest person. Yep. Was nothing wrong with them. Right. That was a hater. Along with that, like you said, there are gonna be plenty of people that I've dated that are gonna say that they had a different experience than what my husband might say I'm like. Every right. person brings out something different. Maybe, maybe he acted nuts because you nuts. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, but Hilarious. Okay. at the same time though, don't you guys think that we are adult enough to not make the entire um, um, uh, uh, make the entire um, re review what you expect them to be. Like, for example, does anybody here actually use Yelp? I, I do. love Yelp. I, I love, love Yelper, Yelp. Though. Okay, well, you love, love Yelp. Yelp. You can Yelper. read through, and there's crazies on there that are like, the server looked at me weird, and you're giving the restaurant like one star because yeah. the server had a bad day. <laughs> you know how to read through and find the crazies and take out the people that are judging the lighting right. or one dish and still decide if you're going to go to the restaurant or Would not. Would you trust this app, though? Say you wanted to date a person yeah, and you I saw the constructive... It, but what, I would read it for fun because I want to know what tea happened on your last oh day. Oh, my Jeez. God. I want to know. That, that doesn't is not, But, like, even on Yelp, I never read the stuff people like say under. Them, yeah. I just look at the photos they take. I want to see real people's photos of the yes. place versus the professional Same. photo right. that they take. Like, I... Yeah. I not only think that it's cool, though, to read what happened with other people, I actually would be, I would want somebody to rate me on a date. I want to know how, what kind of dater I am. you. What are you okay. doing? Okay. <laughs> What's wrong? Wait, 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 wait. What Is kind anybody of else crazy is like me? Does anybody else want to know what they were like on a date if you could read about yourself? <laughs> oh, no. Thank you. No. Thank you. I, I think yes. this is different where, like, do they actually write it out like... Y'all think you're she... perfect? <laughs> no, but... She walked in, she was this, she was that, or is it like a rating, like stars? Like I how would, many stars for it? Did it, how close to the photo did the person I look? Do you know five only, stars. How? I would only believe it if they had a mixture of both positive and negative. Of course. Do you know yeah, what so I mean? Yes, yes. yes, because if it was just negative, I would think maybe somebody had a personal vendetta out. Yeah, but you, you know how you, like, like, hey, you have to hear from strangers, people, though. As if, as if people already don't go through enough self-esteem issues right? with the internet and all these things, now you're going to rate me based on how you feel that I yeah. am, how I should no, be. No, just go on Instagram and rate Jeannie right now. Yeah.